Hi Elaine, it's Alexis. This is for you. I want you to develop a spirit of play and letting go and moving the paper around. So I'm just gonna show you how I do that. Won't be long. Um, it might not even turn out well, but that's the risk that you take when you uh, engage in this great kind of flow with alcohol inks. So watch. Normally, what I do is I start out dropping some blending solution and I move that around, just move it around. And I think right now, I'm gonna start off with white. This doesn't mean that I'm necessarily creating any kind of a wave action. I'm gonna get my trusty. Now I want you to see that my paper is not this way and that I'm not just leaving it that way. I am moving it around, even when I pick up the canned air. Now I'm gonna use some stream. And I'm gonna move that around. I'm gonna move it all around. And when I do that, it really does create that beautiful flow, that really beautiful flow. I didn't do anything, and you can see that this has such a beautiful fluidity about it. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until it basically stops moving. Now, I could do nothing with this painting, absolutely nothing, and think that it's absolutely, just a great, just a great wave that's forming there. And we really don't always need to do waves, you know we don't. Um, thinking what I'd like to do is get that little, that little piece out maybe just add a little bit of butterscotch to see if I could do something to create a nice little a nice little sky maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of red here the wild plum and a little bit of white to soften that up I'm moving it around and to help me so I can tell that when my air isn't moving, moving it around, that I may need more blending solution. So I'll do it that way, and then I'm gonna do it this way. You have to be really careful with the blending solution that you're not constantly creating these. Sometimes we like the lines that it creates and sometimes we don't. You know, perhaps that's a really pretty sky. Do you like that? And then of course, you have to be careful that you don't get your hands. So now I need to act like I really wanted that to happen. But I think that's really the fun part of playing with the inks. So here's what I wanted you to say. That it is about holding the paper lots of different ways. I'm actually now going to take this huge risk And you can see what I'm doing. I'm just allowing the blending solution. And I'm loving what it's doing up at the top. I'm not crazy about what it's doing right here. But I can play with that. I could take a sponge. Normally this would be clean. But perhaps... I just take that sponge and very lightly very lightly go over so that 
is something that I wanted to show you that I was able to do very quickly. You watched me and perhaps you don't want to leave it that way. Normally what I do is I go, oh, that's great. Oh, but maybe that looks better. Maybe that looks better. So the whole key is to have a relaxed energy to, to look at these inks and say, where do they want to go? To know, you know, just get that feel for the blending solution, the inks. And when you move it all around, you come out with just a really um, nicer, well, here I'm adding some, I'm adding some texture here because sometimes these pieces will add some texture and that looks see what I just did that actually looks like the end of a cliff didn't even mean to do that but it looks that way so hopefully this helps you anybody else Andy Lane but I was a little nervous when I saw that Facebook post and I thought boy you're really feeling frustrated I don't want you to feel frustrated inks are wonderful they allow us to play and grow and just have fun with them bye